What's going on, people? All the listeners out there, inquiring minds, you're listening to Shots Fired, and I'm Anunnaki Wasabi. You got Barack Yolad right here. And this is Space Box Television, Voice Box, the platform for all podcasts, because we're here to discuss. Thank you for joining us. This is phase one. Yeah. How you feeling, brother? Yo, everything is real good, exceptionally well. You know, I'm doing real good out here. I feel blessed, you know. Um, blessed, blessed. You know, had a nice little outdoor camping uh, Saturday with my son. And, okay. You know, taught a couple of classes today. And, you know, I'm just getting the day up and, you know, popping. So, you know, I'm here next. So we're here to build and let's uh, take it to the next level. And the next level is what we're all about. But let the listeners know. You say class. What are you teaching? Um, are you teaching uh, uh, um, pottery? or uh, <laughs> Are you teaching Pilates? What are you doing with yourself, well, brother? Yeah, you know, uh, good question. Uh, yeah, I'm a martial art teacher. So, you know, I teach martial arts, obviously. And, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much what I do. I get into that aspect with my uh, students. Uh, show them how to live properly on, you know, in this dimension. <laughs> to this day. What was most important, you know, brother, is that it's experience. Yeah. And we live in an age where people know things from A to Z, but don't have the experience. If I can add a little bit more. Go ahead. I mean, like when you're in my school, you're not just learning martial arts. Um, you're learning how to live. So you're learning wilderness survival training. You're learning urban survival training. There's a lot of plant life, a lot of things that are in this community that you don't know if there was some kind of cataclysmic event or if you're living off the grid. You need to learn how to live off the grid regardless. Um, you're learning information gathering, counterintelligence training, informa uh, uh, camouflage and imitation skills training. There's a lot. It's a whole gambit. So it's not something to be taken lightly so this is not an average martial arts school but let's get into yeah. it my brother we're here in shots fires phase one some people would say episode yeah. one but you know here on space box television voice box shots fired we're moving in phases Rah. so what do we have here in shots fired is what we like to do is we profile spirits oh yeah what are spirits my brother I mean, well, you know, when we when we talk about spirits and, you know, we, you know, bring it back to old, I mean, you have these con uh, particular concoctions that were, you know, formulated to actually enhance you to to uh, actually bring you to an inner standing of enlightenment. And so, you know, but too much of these spirits, you know, you can be possessed. You, you don't want legion in you. So we have to be mindful. That's why when you see these liquor stores and they say they sell spirits. Now, it makes you think because there's this wordplay with that. It's extreme <laughs> wordplay. You know, there's this wordplay. It's like possessions versus possessions. What we have here is NFD, Neely Family Distillers. And what this here is, what is this, Rock? Moonshine. All right. Oh, I can smell the apple pie. I can smell it. Already the fragrance is, oh, is okay. the fragrance yes, yes, is the, real. The aroma is there. Yeah. The fragrance is real. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Yeah. Oh, wow, that was fabulous. Holy smokes. Oh, it, pretty it, damn it, delicious. It yo, that's <laughs> real apples. That's real apples. Lots been going on, man. Yeah. A, a lot, man. a lot's been going on. What's going on with people licking up food and ice cream and putting I, it back? Have you seen that? Nah, I've been seeing posts on that. And I was like, actually, sh yo, what even killed me was the person may get, what, 20 years in prison. <laughs> but, and I was scratching my head on. I was like, yo, but it is ultimately disgusting. But I was like, tampering I, with food. There's, there's, there's a law against that. Yeah. I don't know if the time fits it, but I I don't know. It's a critical thing. I think it needs to be analyzed a little more. But this person was literally taking the caps off ice cream yep. and licking it and putting the cap back on. <laughs> but but see, but guess what? I done seen some other things where I saw multiple videos on people who are taking this as a joke and they're trying to go viral. I saw some yeah. dude yeah. go and open a jar of I, th I believe it was pickles, ate a pickle, spit inside the pickle, put it back, open up this, open up that, 
people are out there acting crazy for the sake of views. And yeah. let's be clear. Let's be clear. Fuck you and your views. Fuck you and your intention. You don't mess with anybody's food, whether it's on the internet Real talk. or not. Real you might talk. get your stab you might get your ass stabbed up, shanked up. We don't know what might happen to you, but that's a violation. Yeah, that's an ultimate violation, big. <laughs> but that's just the world that we live in now. Everybody yeah. be advised. Let's let's be leaders in this whole situation and and take this platform that's allowed to us and you know, let's elevate, man. Bring this to another level. You yeah, know what I'm let's saying? find a whole nother way of how to get views by doing <laughs> some good things. I yeah. mean, well, we want to find our balance. I mean, listen, I'm not when I I got to correct myself when go I ahead, say this. Go ahead. Go ahead. You know, I mean, some people really go on the deep end as far as getting views. So we want to be properly balanced. Uh, it, it, it's walking a tightrope here because uh, do you got like a lot of people out here doing a lot of bizarre things that <laughs> I even find amusing. Like this dude, Tyrone. Oh, you know what? I enjoy the, Yo, I enjoy the ratchet my, ratchetness you myself. Heard dude, I really do. You heard of Tyrone? I'm Tyrone. Yeah, and he's yeah, he's yo, rolling up on yo, people. And smacking cigarettes out their hand. And the expression of people's faces, I, I, I get amused from that. But at the same time, I'm like, yo, he's going to get shot. Shout out to Tyrone <laughs> on the internet, slapping <laughs> cigarettes out of people's mouths, dissing them, <laughs> name calling. Flexing on them Just know Tyrone man God bless you man I hope you Keep yourself safe man yeah. It's amusing And I enjoy it I think it's hilarious But <laughs> But You know what I mean I don't smoke But if I'm over there Smoking my square And you roll up on me With a camera And smack my Smack my cigarette Out of my mouth Tyrone I'm choking you out <laughs> Yo yo listen Not I'ma even choke that you out. <laughs> Not even that Yo he'll come up on you With your lady And be like Yo I, yo, I get a long dick style Oh you know? the disrespect <laughs> yo, and you, Just to see how you will respond Oh the disrespect <laughs> Yo I'm like Yo son for real You really doing that But the whole point is Is that people do a lot of things Um out of the un, you know the ordinary to get the views there's a lot of things going on right here so we got to just be mindful of you know what we're doing out here to try to uh get views yeah, i man. mean we live in the cyber world it, this cyber world is no joke it'll it'll eat you up spit you yeah. out what projects you got popping off brother well talking about voice box being the platform um what do you got going on uh, well, you know, I got this, um, you know, courtesy of, uh, you know, uh, one of my closest uh, cousins, uh, Sensei Lopez. We're coming out with a nice little podcast called The Marshall Maze. Marshall Maze. I've been doing this, you know, since I was six. And, you know, being well into my 40s now, I've been doing martial arts for quite some time. And me and uh, Sensei Lopez... Uh, have been doing this together and we want to be able to show individuals that are in, uh, you know interested in martial arts how to navigate this world you know um it's a very tricky world and being that it's not like when we came up now truth people can play with it they can right, finesse right. it and so now with religion and all the stuff that's going on and when i speak religion i'm really talking about the three main ones i'm talking about judaism judaism i'm talking about christianity and islam so you know the rest of like Buddhism and all that, they don't get entangled in all that because they know better. <laughs> they know. Tell better. it, tell it. We we could get deep into it, but that's maybe but, in another phase. Yeah, but but those who just those who are listening just understand that what my brother is saying is that the main points is what he's outlining. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying. So, from my understanding, scientifically. Because you could argue science and religion all day. Yeah. You know, we know that. And that that's another phase. And they're one and, and the same, though. <laughs> yeah, but then you have somebody who be like, no, there's no, it's not. But let me tell you something. You burn your hand, like you said, right? It's hot. Don't put your hand in there. Well, you know, I know you may be hot, but you know what? The Lord and the Savior is going to heal my hand. And then somebody's going to put their hand in the fire. Ooh, it's hot. But then the Lord and the Savior is going to heal you. And then you're going to be like, well, he ain't going to heal you unless you well, put this aloe in that piece. That's just kind of sad. Yo, yo, put the aloe in that, that piece, right? Put the I, aloe in that hand. So, yeah, he'll say he'll. it. Yo, listen. <laughs> let, let me tell you something, my G. I have yet to see that. Listen, like you brought up a good point. Imagine, like most people go to these churches in the South and they got like some kind of physical condition. Now they're getting up and walking. You don't know if it's fake or not, but I like to see someone with major skin damage burns and then this man touches you and the skin turns back to normal. Then you got my attention. Yeah. 
I, I feel you. I'm not going to lie to you, brother. I've done seen some things on the internet, 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 internet. I've done seen some things on the internet where these mega churches and these high level, I want to say a high level, even if I don't know, even I don't know their names, I want to say high level commercial wise. Exactly. High, high level, high money level makers. money makers. You know what I mean? PIMP. Okay. Now, these brothers is out there waving around their suit jackets, throwing so-called holy water, throwing the words of the G.O.D., throwing the words, flashing his hands, punching people in the face, slapping them. <laughs> Motherfuckers is out there passing out. Dudes is going in a coma. Like the evil is being pushed away. I even felt the evil pushed away, but then I realized it wasn't evil. I was just like, yo, this dude is over here bullshit. No, no, it's infomercials. <laughs> yo, and, and it's, it's wild. It's a sell tactic. And that's wild. what it, it looks good. It looks good. Money, 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 money. <laughs> just so everybody would know we live in that world where money, yo, cash rules everything. A lot of people are blind driving. They're blind drivers. They're ghost drivers. You know? Yo, yo, blind passengers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, get your Uber. But you're in, you're in the ferry. You give your coin to the guide. And, the fer and, 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 and that guide takes you. The cloak guide, the real, you know, looking like death. You don't know who it is. Kind of spooky, you know what I mean? He holds the lantern. You give him I your coin. I him more. Because he ain't going Because he's about he it. <laughs> he ain't talking to you. There's no bull crap with him. He ain't got no damn resume. He's not saying nothing. You know what? You pay me, I'm going to take you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and I destiny, with that better. <laughs> destiny awaits. So all, all I'm saying is, in, in, in <laughs> hey, cheers, brother. Cheers, cheers. cheers. All I'm saying is that um, people be aware of what's going on around you. You know what I mean? Don't true indeed. Don't 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 tend to think you know everything. If you embrace to know nothing, you will learn so much more in this world. Pay homage, yes, to your chemical biological ancestral historical makeup because mm -hmm. it's so important for you mm -hmm. to know why and how and who you are man yeah right yeah gather your strength know yeah. who you are yeah appreciate yourself yeah appreciate how you were made learn it be be strong because you're a king you're a titan and all my queens also yeah my and goddesses. For, and for all those who are androgynous, I, I yo, I fucks with y'all a lot. <laughs> <laughs> with that being said, cheers. I'm Anu Naki Wusabi. Yo. And I'm Barack Yalad. And this is and was phase one. Shots. Be on the lookout, y'all. Shots. Fire. Cheers, my brother. Cheers.